Hello everyone and welcome back to this module and in this module we will learn about the cyber attacks. So uh, might be some of you are aware of the term but a cyber attack is an assault launched by cyber criminals using one or more computers against a single or multiple computer or network. So this is the basic definition of cyber attack. A cyber attack can maliciously disable computers, steal data or use a breached computer as a launch point for other attacks. So this is also a, a part of cyber attack. Cyber criminals use a variety of methods to launch a cyber attack, including malware, phishing, ransomware, denial of service, among other methods. So this is the definition of cyber attack. So any type of usage of the infrastructure which is inside the plant or inside the organization and that is being used for their personal concern, personal advantage without the authorized or we can say unauthorized access of those critical systems or any system which has some information, which has some data, which has some control of the systems that that is a type of cyber attack. So in our case, uh, basically DCS, PLC or SCADA or building automation system or IoT network. So anyone if accesses those things to with a, some different motive to destroy or to make an impact on the organization or to make financial no loss or to make health and safety impact. Uh, then that, that is uh, a cyber attack. So cyber attack scale can be a very minute to a big ones also. So we have some of the cyber attacks uh, happened in history. So we'll discuss some of them so that you will get understanding of the cyber attacks, like how it looks and what, what happened actually in a cyber attack. So if someone asks you like what is a cyber attack, you can give some of the examples which already had happened in past. So let's go for the first. This is Worcester air traffic uh, communication. So in March 1997, a teenager in Worcester, Massachusetts, uh, disabled part of public switch telephone network using a dial-up modem connected to the system. So he accessed that network with an already connected dial-up modem. This knocked out phone service at the control tower, airport security, the airport fire department, the weather service carriers that use air force. So once he disabled, so all the services got knocked off because those all were connected with this, uh, these, this network. The tower's main radio transmitter and the another transmitter that activates the runway lights were shut down as well as printer that controller uses to monitor flight progress. Everything was shut down. So the impact of this attack was like the attack was knocked out phone service to 600 homes and business in a nearby town of Rootland. So you can see like just a teenager with a basic knowledge and he did as such a big uh, impact. So this happened in really very old uh, time. So in 1997, this was the first type of attack happened uh, with a, such a quant that knocked almost phone service of 600 homes. Then uh, similar to that in uh, uh, 2000 in Australia, uh, there was an attack happened. So we can say this is a script kiddie or uh, enthusiast who did this hacking, but this Maruchi Shire sewage spill, it is a, a act of a disgruntled employee or disgruntled outsider employee, we can say. So what happened in this, that in the spring of 2000, a former employee of an Australian organization that develops manufacturing software, uh, applied for a job with local government, government but was rejected. So. Uh, that guy, his name was uh, Bowden and what he did, like uh, he was uh, working at a uh, software manufacturing company which provides the software to the local government which that local government controls the uh, water and sea waste treatment. But uh, however, his application was rejected by that local government. So he became disgruntled and then what he did over a two month of prayer, the disgruntled employee, rejected employee reported uh, reportedly used a radio transmitter as many as 46 times to remotely break into the controls of CVS treatment system. And, and once he got access to those system because he had already the knowledge of this manufacturing software. So he, he was uh, well known about how the system operates. So he altered electronic data for particular CVS pumping stations and caused malfunctions in their operations. So what was the impact? Impact was very huge. So impact was around 
release of 264,000 gallons of raw sewage into nearby rivers and parks. So this had a great impact on the environment. Many uh, marine species died and uh, there was a like foul smell and the complete area was quite polluted and it was unlivable for some time. So this was a very huge impact and this was just just done by a single employee. Next to moving in the progress, unlike in July 2010, there was a uh, Iranian centrifuge Stuxnet attack. So I think Stuxnet has been used in almost all the cybersecurity trainings. So this is a prominent attack what happened in history. So it was a Microsoft Windows computer worm discovered in July 2010 that specifically targeted industrial software and equipment. The worm initially spread indiscriminately but included a highly specialized malware payload that were designed to only one particular SCADA system that were configured to control and monitor specific internet processes. So in this attack also the impact was very used. Many 10, 000, almost around 10,000 mechanical centrifuges were damaged. So uh, the attacker tricked the operators with the false RPM in the control room and in the field the RPM was way high and way low. It was changing so that mechanically stressed those centrifuges and they were damaged. So this was done using a laptop. So there was no any internet connection to this site, but uh, this was a nuclear facility. So there was no any internet connection directly, but this was done by also bypassing the physical intrusions, physical uh, barriers what we implement in the plant. So this was a major attack. After this attack, the world started paying attention to cybersecurity of the ICS. And then again in 2012 and 14, two major attacks happened. So in 2014, it was a German steel mill attack. So what the hacker did here, hacker manipulated and disrupted the control systems to such a degree that a blast furnace could not be properly shut down, result in massive though unspecified damage. So impact of this attack was not published publicly so or, or it is not available readily that's why i didn't include it here but uh, in this attack also what they what the hacker did like they did not let the boiler shut down properly and it will have the results so like we studied earlier that safety instrument decisionmented systems they guarantee the safe shutdown of the plant if something happens so they manipulated the control system to uh, evade that logic and to malfunction that logic only so this is the one attack then samoon is a attack which happened in 2012 and saudi aramco experienced a malware attack that targeted their refineries and overrode the attack systems master boot records partition table and other data uh, files this caused the systems to become unusable so this was a direct attack on the operating system of the plant and directly on the master boot records partition table data files so so at the kernel level and at the uh, boot level this attack happened and what was the result that systems will become unusable and it had the production impact as well so these are some of the attacks what we discussed now i think there are two more important attacks what uh, which happened recently so one was like new york dam attack it happened in 2013 so an iranian computer security company obtained remote access to a computer which controlled the SCADA system of Bauman Dam located in New York. So Iranian computer security from Iran, they attacked, they got the access of this SCADA system which was controlling the Bauman Dam located in New York. The adversary was able to view water levels, temperature and status of sluice gate. The sluice gate control was disconnected for maintenance at the time of adversarial remote access. So dam could not be controlled. So this was a mere coincidence that gate was uh, in maintenance and it was disconnected and uh, so so no command was uh, taken and given so only if command was also given that was in maintenance so it was isolated from the control system so no major impact happened in this but though this was a hack which happened uh, recently in uh, december 23 2015 also there was a ukrainian power grid it is also known as black energy 3 attack so Ukrainian power companies experienced a cyber attack causing power outages which impacted over 225,000 customers in the Ukraine. So this was one of the first type of attack on the 
power uh, companies so over 50 regional substations experience malicious remote operation of their breakers so breakers uh, started operating kill disk malware were used to erase files on the target systems also so there was one malware which uh, started erasing the files on the target system including at least one windows based hmi the actors also corrupted the firmware of serial to ethernet devices at substations this was the first known cyber attack on the power grid so this had a very big impact in the ukraine like we can see the official figures of so two to five thousand customers got impact and many many like revamping of those system that impact is also there then opportunity cost is also the impact if we add all those things the, the, the cost will go in millions uh, surely then again in 2016 there was one power grid attack happened and the, that was the in destroyer we say so in December uh, 17 uh, 2016 a cyber attack occurred at substation outside Kiev. the impact was an outage for customer of one substation for approximately one hour so this attack was uh, only only one hour we can say and it was a minor one this attack is first known malware especially designed to attack power grid and and very lately this uh, uh, colonial pipeline attack happened and that was in may 2021 so this, this over the 5500 miles of pipeline transporting more than 100 million gallons per day of the refined product to east coast of the u.s shut down operations because of the ransomware attack so this was the new uh, what happened in may like almost 5500 miles of pipeline uh, which carries almost 100 million gallons per day of refined product to east coast of US shutdown operations because of ransomware attack. So this was the ransomware attack. Colonial Pipeline was victim of ram ransomware cyber attack which encrypted their systems, IT systems by exploiting a legacy VPN profile. So uh, there was a VPN profile and uh, Colonial Pipeline also decided to pay the ransom to cyber criminal group DarkSide in order to have all possible tools including the decryption tools available to bring pipeline back to online the u.s government was able to recover some of the ransom payment but not fully so uh, this attack like the adversaries just they got the vpn details and they access the system and then they pushed the ransom into the system so basically these are the few there are lots of cyber attacks happened in the past but these are some few of the cyber attacks what we studied here and this uh, gave you a good idea like what could be the impact of a cyber attack on a power plant or a thermal plant or on a oil and gas industry or on a food and food processing industry so these are the multiple examples there are lots of examples lots of uh, cyber attacks are keep on happening on critical infrastructure on daily basis like there was uh, dis sometimes it is disclosure of, of information sometimes it's staling of data sometimes it's a manipulation of the control variables or or taking control of the plant even from outside so these types of um, attacks uh, gave rise to the cyber security so what we cyber security professionals do we study all these attacks and and we try to create a defensive solution which can uh, prevent such types of attack which already happened so or, or any zero day attacks like uh, if something has not happened in the history but it ha there might it will come in the future so we design our solutions to safeguard our critical infrastructure assets from this type of cyber attack so this, this is all about the cyber attacks we studied about many cyber uh, attacks what happened in the history and then from this we understood like what could a cyber attack look like so uh, let's conclude this chapter and let's move to the next chapter thank you